What's up guys, Jordan here, and today I'm gonna to be showing you how to play PC games with an Xbox 360 controller instead of having to play it with the keyboard mouse combination. Now to do this, you will need a couple of things. You'll need either a wired or wireless Xbox 360 controller. Now if you're using a wireless like this, you will also need a wireless adapter uh, for your computer. Uh, you can pick up a really cool uh, a wireless adapter and a wireless controller combo on Amazon for right around 50 bucks. I have a link down below in the description. Or you can actually just pick up the wireless adapter for about 15 bucks if you already have a Xbox 360 wireless controller. Now you also need uh, what is called a game profiler to actually transfer all those mouse and keyboard commands into uh, controller commands. And uh, the program that we'll be using to do that is called Pinnacle Game Profiler. It's a $25 program, but it does have a 30-day free trial, so you can test it out for a month and see how you like it. So the first thing you need to do is plug in your Xbox 360 controller or the USB adapter for your controller. Now you'll need drivers for your controller, so go to the following website, the link is down below in the description, and then go to gaming up there at the top, and then you'll need to select which controller you have, either wired or wireless. Then from there, you'll need to select which operating system you have, for me it's Windows 7 64-bit, then go ahead and download the drivers. Uh, then select run, then the drivers will begin downloading, then select run again, and they will uh, extract the files, then select uh, accept to license agreement, then it will install the driver, and then after it's done installing, you'll actually need to restart uh, your computer. Now, once your computer has restarted, go to PinnacleGameProfiler.com to download Pinnacle Game Profiler. Now, like I said in the intro of this video, you need a program that converts the keyboard and mouse commands for the game into Xbox 360 controller commands. So, let's say the fire or shoot command is the left mouse button. Well, this program actually tells the computer that when the right trigger button on the Xbox controller is hit, that that's the same as the left mouse button being clicked. So, it just converts those commands so that you can use the Xbox 360 controller for your games. So click on download now to download Pinnacle Game Profiler. Once it's all done downloading, it will run the installation wizard. And then you'll need to accept the license agreement, select where you want to install it, select the installation options, and then it will install Pinnacle Game Profiler. Now once uh, installation is all finished, you will need to restart your computer one last time. Now, once it's all done restarting, go ahead and open up Pinnacle Game Profiler. And this is what Pinnacle Game Profiler looks like. Up there at the top, you see uh, which controller is connected to your computer. And then down there in the middle, you have uh, the spot for all your game profiles. And game profiles are actually kind of like drivers, uh, specific drivers for each game that you have. Um, and to start a profile, you simply double click on it and then it begins running. And this one, Win Profile, it's in there by default and it actually allows you to control your computer with your Xbox 360 controller. So even though I don't have the mouse uh, showing up in this recording, you can still see that I'm able to drag and drop and move around and control my PC with. Uh, Xbox 360 controllers. It's very cool. But if you were to play uh, whatever PC game you have right now, you would still not be able to control anything. You will actually need a specific game profile for each PC game that you want to play with your Xbox 360 controller. So to get these, go up to Pinnacle Update. Uh, you will need to stop any profiles that are currently running. So select Yes, and then uh, Search for any updates, then select finish. Now, if there are any new games that uh, should be detected, they'll be detected right now. So it detects Modern Warfare 3. Uh, then go ahead and select OK, and then select that you do want to check for updates to these profiles that it just found. So it'll search for the updates and then download any updates. Then select yes, and then it will install the updates and then select finish. And now you are all ready to play whatever PC game you have with your 
Xbox 360 controller. So I am running Modern Warfare 3 on my iMac, by the way, and I'm able to control it, as you can see here, with an Xbox 360 controller. Now, if you are interested in how to play PC games on a Mac like I'm doing right now, check out that video down the lower left-hand corner of this video. And if you're interested in me making an in-depth tutorial of how to modify the specific commands for the controller, so like how to manually change what the A or B button does, be sure to tell me that you're interested in that down below. But anyways, guys, I hope you have learned a lot from this tutorial. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, be sure to leave them down below. And thanks for checking out this video. I hope you all have a great day, and hopefully I'll see you in my next video real soon.